In this video, we will be explaining the causes behind Werner's syndrome and the cell signaling pathway it is involved in. Werner's syndrome, also known as adult onset progeria, is a disease that is passed down genetically. It's transferred in an autosomal recessive pattern, meaning an affected person has mutated versions of both copies of the WRN gene, which is also known as the Werner gene. The parents may have one copy of the mutated WRN gene, but not show symptoms themselves. A prominent sign of Werner syndrome is premature aging, with symptoms such as early loss of hair, cataracts, and below average height. In a normal functioning cell, DNA damage commonly occurs in the nucleus. This can be due to UV light, chemicals, or another external factor. When DNA damage occurs, single-stranded DNA is formed, which is a common intermediate in DNA damage detection and repair. The persistent single-stranded DNA is the signal that activates a protein kinase called ATR, which activates the DNA damage checkpoint. This leads to a signal transduction pathway where protein kinases are constantly activated and deactivated in a phosphorylation chain until the chain activates the transcription factor SP1. The active SP1 initiates a cellular response, which codes for a gene on chromosome 8 of DNA called the Werner gene. This genetic information is then sent in the form of mRNA to the ribosomes, where WRN, also known as the Werner protein, is created. The Werner protein is a 42 amino acid protein in the RecQ DNA helicase family. It functions as both a helicase enzyme and an exonuclease. Helicase enzymes unwind and separate DNA during DNA replication. Exonucleases trim the broken ends of damaged DNA by removing nucleotides. WRN also plays a big role in maintaining telomere stability. Telomeres are caps at the end of chromosomes that are associated with aging. In instances such as a stalled replication fork, a double strand break, and inconsistencies in telomeres, WRN proteins are created through the cell signaling pathway and locate the damage. They are then able to assist other proteins in fixing the DNA damage. However, in Werner syndrome patients, there is a mutation in the Werner gene due to the production of a stop codon from a genetic mutation. In this case, when DNA is damaged, mutated Werner proteins are created instead of the normal ones. These mutated Werner proteins aren't able to detect the damaged DNA. As Werner syndrome patients get older, their DNA eventually accumulates so many errors that it essentially becomes non-functional. If the DNA continues to stay damaged, the cells in your body would not be able to correctly produce the proteins essential for homeostasis. Cell division slows and eventually stops. Since telomeres usually shorten with age, if Werner proteins are non-functional and telomeres become unnaturally shortened, premature aging will occur. This is why symptoms of Werner syndrome include wrinkles, thinning skin, gray hair, hoarse voice, and atrophy, as well as other side effects like type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, and heart failure. In summary, when DNA damage occurs in Werner syndrome patients, SP1 is activated as a cellular response of a signal transduction pathway, which codes for a mutated Werner gene. This creates mutated Werner proteins that can't detect DNA damage and fix it. Over time, DNA damage accumulates and telomeres become unnaturally shortened, causing many symptoms. Thank you for watching.